very apologetic. I've made some missteps in my career. First on Fox, clearing the air. Today, the lone finalist for superintendent of San Antonio Independent School District answered some very tough questions about his past. The Q&A with reporters was scheduled after questions surfaced regarding his legal and financial history. Currently a superintendent in Tucson, Arizona, Dr. Manuel Izquierdo was open and apologetic during the hour-long news conference. Izquierdo admitted to traffic violations that led to a suspended driver's license. He acknowledged owing $150,000 in federal tax liens, and he spoke of having to reimburse his district for charges on the district's credit card that were disallowed. No one's perfect. I've made mistakes. I accept that and I learn from them. And now I'm a better leader. I'm a leader because I learn from my mistakes. Izquierdo championed his record of improving graduation rates at his current district. The school board here must now wait 21 days before making a final decision. These questions about Izquierdo's past have raised concerns for many parents in the district. Robert Price, Robert Price explains why some of them say they're already struggling to keep an open mind. Just down the street from Bonham Academy, the Allegrini family is hosting a backyard play date. <laughs> Most of these children go to school in the San Antonio Independent School District, so their parents are very much aware of the district's more than year-long search for a superintendent. It's been a hot topic of conversation since the search started. So when SAISD named Dr. Manuel Esquerdo as its lone finalist for the position, Sharice Allegrini's first reaction was mixed. Oh, we found somebody. Oh, um, is this really the person we want? Allegrini says she started hearing the stories about taxes, credit card charges, and a suspended driver's license. Very quickly, word got round that maybe it's not the person we want. And why did the board choose this person? This looks really bad. It just looks like they didn't vet the candidate. Parent Angela Martinez has two children in the district. It's a level of incompetence or perceived incompetence that um, just has us all alarmed. There's a lot of things that we want from a superintendent, uh, but certainly integrity and a proven record of improving a school district is important. Members of the board who voted for Izquierdo say they understand the public's concerns. You hear certain things and you figure, how could somebody who's done that, you know, be a leader for our community? But just please be open to taking the time to get to know him. They encourage parents, students, and teachers to hear from him directly at upcoming community meetings. Find out why seven board members who are very different from one another were able to come together and say, yes, this is the man that could take us to be a role model for the nation. We're trying to withhold judgment till we learn more, um, but it's not looking good. <laughs> SAISD is giving the community a chance to meet Dr. Iskier, though, at three upcoming meetings. The first will be held next Thursday from 6 to 8 at Jefferson High School. On Friday, he'll be at Lanier High School from 6 to 8. And finally, next Saturday from 10 to noon at Sam Houston High School. Robert Price, Fox News at 9.